What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode we got a super special guest, my beautiful wife, Jackie Gentry. Boop, boop. <laughs> so this is going to be a wild ride, so hang tight because we got a super cool story for you. Hey guys, glad to be back, glad to be on the channel. Um, we are currently in Austin, Texas. We are going to be flying out to the Golden State of California to pick up a 27-year-old vehicle. And then we're going to drive it all the way back down to South Texas. So... Hopefully this rig is solid because we're going to be making a few iconic stops along the way. 31 hours, 2200 miles. We're going to hit places like Vegas, the Grand Canyon, and a few other iconic spots. So buckle up. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be a wild ride. Cannot wait. I'm sorry, man. Nice to meet you. Chase, man. nice to meet you, dude. How you been? My, good, dude. My wife, Jackie. Nice, nice to meet you. Sorry. How was the trip? Ah, uh, it's not too bad. This yeah. early. We had to get up at 3:30 this morning. Fly out at six. Yeah. So. You guys staying in Vegas tonight? That's the plan. Depending on, we're we're a little tired. I don't know if we'll make it all the way over there, but. Um. Cool, man. Here's that list that I told you about. Have you got everything that you just did to it uh, okay. since like 14? So. so you bought it, had it for a year you said? Yeah, I bought it last July. Um, so the guy I bought it from, he had like his business partner or whatever in him bought it back in like 19, it was like 98 or 97. Uh-huh. So between those two guys, they've had it since 97. I uh, just checking it out, seeing if it's been repainted before. Yeah, that's. It's part of the session. 
kind of a common spot on these things to rust. The original window sticker still in the Bronco. Uh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Warranty card. Owner's manual. Owner's Let's manual, the, the whole dealer pack, original. Yeah, that's pretty rare to find all that stuff still in them. Cool, man. Are you from here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I was born and raised. Same with my wife. We lived in the heat. That's hot, man. I thought where we lived was hot. Uh, here, let's count this, man, so you can. One, two, three. Oops. Start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four. And um, I told her, I was like, let's let's do something crazy. Let's go buy an old truck and restore it, ground up, and uh, you know, have it. It's not necessarily a comparison, because it's not really, you can't compare this to the new street. It's no comparison, you know what I mean? But it'll be, right, yeah. it'll be something I'm going to tinker with. Are you just going to restore it? Are you actually going to build it and do a whole big project with it? It's going to be a big project. I was going to, what I kind of was hoping to do was do like a desolate stage three. That's what I, I, that's what I want to do, yeah. Yeah, a desolate for sure. Um, I'm going to strip it. I'm going to repaint it. I'm going to put, I, most likely, the cactus gray from the 2021 Bronco, mm -hmm. like a 2021 color on it, no chrome. Um, I don't want it to look obnoxious, right. but I want it to be like, if I want to go romp like on it, out yeah, and, yeah. Do what? So I'm a little nervous because we just bought a really old truck and we're about to hit, where do we put a map on? Where are we going? Where are we going? Tonight. <laughs> we don't even know. Yeah, I guess we start heading back to Vegas, I mean towards Vegas. Alright, so... Get some starbs. I need to cool off. I'm, I'm sweating. There we go. That's broken. He just pulled it. <laughs> just pulled this out, and I didn't go back in. We haven't even pulled it on the parking lot yet. <laughs> it's okay. You can fix it. I think this is gonna be one of those things where like something breaks and you're gonna say, it's okay, I can fix it. Yeah. It's okay, I can fix it. All right, let's go fill this pig up. You gonna call it the pig? Right now it's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so dry. All right, so we're, uh, it's so hot here. So hot. I put, Ridgecrest, mask. California. It's like 113 degrees today. Use my mask for a ponytail. Yeah, it is like ridiculously hot. So we're trying to figure out where we're going. Head south on North China Lake Boulevard toward Argus Avenue. So we're three and a half hours from Vegas. So we're going to Vegas. Never been? Might as well. We're taking the old 94 we need a cool name for it. Bronco that we just bought. We need a name for it. Yeah, she's, she's a little rough here and there, but overall... We should call her Sandy since she's Sandy. Yeah, we'll call her Sandy. I like that. She came from a sandy area, yeah. like a desert. All right, well, sandy we're, dessert. We're gassing this thing up. It stopped at 85. Then we fill it up. Okay, so we got to start it back over. All right, first Bronco check in. Jake and I have been cruising about 65 miles an hour on cruise control with the AC on max in the desert. Just so you guys know, it's 117 degrees outside. And Dusty, that's what we're naming it. Dusty. Has been, dusty. Yeah, because it's stripping dusty. It's not clean at all. Anyway, Dusty has been trucking along strong. No lights, coolant's good, oil pressure good, battery, amperage is good, no check engine lights. We're just trucking. We got about two hours to go until we get to Vegas. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and push through tonight and get to Arizona.
started smelling like strong, um, not exhaust fumes, but fuel, not even fuel, but a tank builds up fuel pressure, that, that smell when you pull the cap off and it like releases the vapors, that's what I'm smelling. So the EVAP system is doing something. It's not venting the tank. Mm -hmm. um, and then you went and gassed yes, it up. Yes, and it's vacuum related. I tried to gas it for the third time and it wouldn't fill up because it's puking pressure out. So just pulled the cap off the tank and it killed the engine. Now it won't fire back up. So yeah. <laughs> He's going to put it back on and see if we can't turn it back on. What? I'd be a little nervous. But we're not taking that off again. It can yeah. just it can just hold that pressure. I gotta figure out what's going on. It's not supposed to do that. Still, anyway, if it's evap though, you said it's something. Yeah, I mean, minor. It's, it's nothing. It's it's vacuum and evap related. So the truck's running fine. Motor transmission, all that stuff's good. Cooling is good. It's not overheating or anything, but it's building too much pressure in the tank and not venting it off correctly. So, yeah, we're just gonna uh, keep going. We've got another hour and a half on today's trek, and then we're going to shut her off, let her cool down, because it's really hot today. That might be a lot of it, too. One, everything underneath there is all 27-year-old components, um, and it's 100, It's over 100 degrees, and it has been the last, it has been all day. We've been running it all day long with the AC on, so. We're just going to keep going because we've got enough to get where we need to get for now. So, hopefully we'll make it. The white. Oh my god, look at that. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we would have just drove right over that and not seen this. Oh, oh my god, I'm missing it with the camera. Whoops. <laughs> been that low before. I wonder how many feet that is. Like how many it's like 152 feet. feet. Either 152 or 221. The last time I looked at it, I can't remember. That'd be good for the car to pull, pull down. Yeah. Quite a chunk. Might put on my tennis shoes. All right, guys. So we're uh, making this trek. We started off in LA, drove north to Ridgecrest, Ridgecrest, picked up the 94 Bronco, drove from Ridgecrest, California to Vegas, and then now we are in Nevada and Arizona at the same time at the Hoover Dam. Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy how low the water is. 114 on the freaking Instagram. Yeah, it's super hot too. I'm pretty sure it's hotter than 114 degrees. But what's crazy is that that white down and then of course the natural wrap up typically is where the water level usually is so it is i think 
200 or something feet lower than what it's supposed to be, which is kind of scary. Pretty blue, like the water is. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, we're at Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. I don't Dam. know it's Lake Mead. I didn't know that. Because, um, yeah, this really wasn't planned. We were Jack and I were just driving, and then we realized, hey, the Hoover Dam's right over there. Let's go check it out. So, yeah, we're going to walk and see this thing. Yeah, but it doesn't really like to. I'm there. Boo! That is wild. Oh my, so like, that's where the water usually comes out. It's usually like gushing out, or what? Yeah. Uh... So, there's several like spill-offs, but like there's roads all down in the rock. See down there? You know, there's tunnels and stuff that they've built to get down to like the pumps and stuff, but and you know, those generators. Are stuff on the sides too, right? Yeah. That is so crazy. This is such a cool spot. I'm so glad that we made it here. Oh my gosh, I, I'm just like almost speechless. Arizona and Nevada. Wait, not that one. Further over. Anyway, but Nevada time, Arizona time, because we're right in the middle. Look at that. I can't look down without thinking I'm going to drop my phone. That is some crazy shit. Good stuff, right? Very good stuff. I last step of the day. Yeah, last stop of the day. I think we're both just kind of like. <clears throat> We've been. Long. Well. Like I said, this has been a long day. We started at 3.30 this morning. One of seven selected by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Wow. Oh, look, right here. There's a lot of... Oh, we gotta take a picture right here. Okay, we're in two states, two time Nevada zones. And Arizona. At the same time. Nevada, Arizona. Boom! Look, modern civil engineering wonder of the United States, one of seven. This is one of the seven wonders. All right, we got to see the other six. Yeah. That's it. Hell yeah. It's decided. So this is the last stop of the day. We're going to push forward another an hour, hour uh, where we have a Airbnb booked for the night where we need to catch up on some much needed rest because our day started at 3.30 this morning. And, and added two hours to our day. <laughs> yeah, because of the time change. So it's been a long day. Um, I gotta tweak a few things on the uh, old Bronco, aka Dusty's, what we're calling it. It's and, 10 o'clock right now, our time. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 p.m. our time back home. So, what time is it now? Nine here. Seven. Seven here. Anyway, so it's Eight. been it's been a long day. Like we're we're pretty wiped, and we went to bed later than we should have last night, and I couldn't sleep very well because I was excited about today. So. But all we can say is, if you do happen to figure out that you're on the road to go to over the Hoover Dam, stop. You have yeah. To. So, so. That's obviously cool to drive over too, but you need to go to the actual dam itself. Walk around a little bit. So anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow. We're done for the night. Boom.